how to make a cloth simulation in Blender. So we are going to create a cloth falling on this cube. Shift A first, we are going to add a mesh plane. This is gonna be the cloth. S to scale it, make it a little bit bigger. G to move it on Z axis, so we press Z. We put it here. And now we need the cloth to bend. So we need to add loops to create more geometry. So we are going to press tab to go in edit mode. We have our plane selected, A to select everything. Right click and then subdivide. Then on the little window at the bottom left, number of cuts, we are going to put more. I'm going to put, um, for example, 50 like this. Now we can go back on object mode, we press tab. Then we can put the cloth simulation. So we go in the physic properties tab and then we can select cloth. Now the cloth is applied on this plane. We can change the presets of the type of cloth, cloth preset here. We can put cotton, denim, leather, rubber, silk. I'm going to put silk. And then when we press play, I'm going to put the timeline at the bottom here. We press play, the plane is falling, but we want the cube as a collision. So we select the cube and in the physic properties tab, we select collision here. And now we can go back at frame one. We are at frame one here. We can press play spacebar and now our plane is on the cube, but it looks very ugly. So first we can S scale it a little bit more like this. We can apply the scale. When we press N item scale, it is at two. So we can do object apply scale like this. So now the scale is at one. Then we can go in the modifiers. We can add a subdivision surface on the plane. We can put it at two and also right click shade smooth. So it's gonna be smooth, it's gonna be smooth. We press play and now it's, it looks better. But you see, it is going through here, you can see this weird thing is happening. So we need to put self collision on this plane. We go in the physic properties and then in cloth, you have collisions here and we can activate self collisions. Also, we need to add thickness to the cloth because now it has zero thickness. So we can go in the modifiers properties, add modifier and add the modifier solidify. And now you can see a little thickness. We can put more like this, for example. And now go at frame one, press play. And now we have our cloth here and it looks pretty good. Now we can put the materials on it. If you want to learn all the basics of Blender, I have a free course and you can join it with the link in the description. So we do 3D modeling, rendering, animations, uh, apply textures, do materials and all this stuff. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye.